Well, the madness is almost over. We're uh, coming towards the end of the breeding season, so it won't be long before we can get out and start playing again. We've got a, a few birds in here that we're imprinting, some of the youngsters that we've bred this year that are coming on. If you look at the brooder over here, we've got a little selection of youngsters in here. So we've got some young Jer falcons and young Jer peregrine falcons. So they'll be in here, just in this brooder, until they're four or five days old, and then they'll be going out and fostering out under new mums. This is from the same mother as this falcon here. So they're, they're actually sisters, so this is this, the second clutch. She's from the first clutch, so she's already weighing over three pounds, and this one here will be you know, 30, 40 grams. Um, and when you think that sh this one is 26 days old, so from that to that, in a very, very short period of time. Yes, you'd quite like to eat your sister, wouldn't you? Yes. Yes. She'd be very, very good. How do you choose what to keep? It's very difficult not to keep them all, but um, we keep certain birds back to uh, try and replenish our breeding stock, basically. Um, so we, we're looking for certain lines that have got certain attributes that, um, that are, are producing the type of birds that, that we're after. They do, they do definitely become your children, don't you, monster? Yes, but at least I can sell my children, yes! <laughs> all eggs will lose weight. If they didn't lose enough, once they start to develop further, the chick hasn't got the right balance um, of nutrients within the egg to be able to, to work with it and absorb it and also room within the egg as well for the, the embryo to develop. And if you lose too much, then the chick can actually become dehydrated. So just a final balancing of making sure that you get the correct amount of weight loss. So as I say, we've marked around this egg um, exactly where we've got the air cell. So X marks the spot. And then what we shall do is we shall just make a small drill hole here. So this is a, a little one mil drill. So so as you can see there, I shall just mark it and then we'll turn the lights back on. David doesn't like being in the dark with me for too long. Okay, so we've just scratched the surface there, got a key in, and then all we're going to do is just lightly hand drill very carefully through the shell. Okay, and as I say, making sure that we don't go into the membrane of the egg so that we've got the air cell right on the top here. A nice little neat hole now, so that is going to allow for the greatest gaseous exchange between the egg and the environment, so that's going to allow it to lose more weight. So this is one of the graphs on the AIM system. You could see that it hadn't lost or it wasn't on track to lose enough weight. We left it another day and it was still not losing any weight. So what we did then is we drilled it at this point. So you can see we drilled it at this point and then we're managing the weight loss down, weighing it every day or every couple of days and then we're perfectly in line. So we should be reaching a 15.2% weight loss at PIP. So at 31 days, they then externally PIP, which we've got here. So you can see these eggs in here. We're running this fairly wet. So this is running at 80% humidity, and if you look very carefully just on the top of those eggs, you can see where the chicks have just broken the shell. So as I say, as the head moves up and they've broken so they can start, rather than breathing through the, the membrane and breathing through the egg, they're now starting to use their lungs and um, they're now breathing air. It is like being in Jurassic Park. Again, I mean, especially with the goshawks. I mean, I try not to keep the, the, the goshawks with any young falcon chicks because they tend to be quite, I wouldn't say aggressive at that age, but they, they, they're a little bit bully boy in their tactics. Um, and you come in here and, um, and check the brooders and you'll see the, the goshawks wake up and they just sort of raise their heads up and it, it, it just reminds me every time of, um, of velociraptors in the grass because they just zzz, up and, um, and start scanning ready to start killing things. But uh, yeah, no, they, are, they are absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, again, obviously, yeah, we are dealing with evolved dinosaurs.